In this video, we're going to take a look at how to get started with Pinecone on AWS. So we're going to begin in this Hello Pinecone notebook. We will need to install the Pinecone client and pandas if we don't already have them installed. Then we'll need to come down to here and actually initialize our connection to Pinecone. For that, we will need a Pinecone API key and a Pinecone environment. And we can get both of those from this app.pinecone.io. So we'll head over to there and we should be able to find this page here. If you're struggling to find it, you can come down to here and click view all projects. So we click on here, create project, and we're going to call this AWS demo, but of course you name it, whatever makes the most sense for you. We'd come down, make sure we are on AWS. We choose our environment and we set our pod limit. So for this demo, I just need one. Now I create a project. Okay, so we have our new project and we want to come over to the left nav bar here, press on API keys, and we want to get the API key value here. So we just copy this. And we also want to make note of this here. So we have US East one AWS, this is our environment. So we're going to put both of those into here. So US East one AWS, and then API key here. Okay, and then we can move on to actually initializing our index. So I'm going to give my index the name of Hello Pinecone. Of course, you name it, whatever makes the most sense to you. And then what we're going to do here is just check if we already have an index with that index name. Okay, so I can take this and I will see that I currently don't have any indexes. So this here will not run. But if we did already have a Hello Pinecone index, uh, this here would actually delete that index just to allow us to start from scratch. So we've deleted our index if it exists, and then we come down to here. Okay, we're going to create our index, and we are going to do that with it's just three dimensions. Typically, we're going to be using higher numbers, something like 1536 or 768, but here, just a demo, we're using three dimensional vectors. Okay, so we're going to run this. We're using the cosine metric. This is the most common metric by far. You may also find yourself using dot product and every now and again, also Euclidean. But cosine is usually a safe bet for most models. Once that's initialized, we can then connect to our index like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna upset two uh, vectors here. So they have the IDs A and B and the vectors are, they're just random vectors, okay? They're, not meaningful, but this is how we can actually upset everything. So to upset, we want to create a, a list of tuples containing our IDs and our vectors. We can also, if you have this, you can also add in any metadata if you did have that, but in this data frame, we don't have any. So we're not going to include those here. So we would add those. You can see that we've just upserted two of those. We can describe our index and we should see that there are now two vectors in there. And then what we can do is we can query, okay? So what we'll do is this, and you can see that we're returning, at the moment we're returning everything, right? Because we set top K, which is how many vectors to return to five. There's only two records in there. So we return everything. If we set that to one, we will just return one, okay? So that is how we would use Pinecone. Once you're done with this index, we go ahead and just save some resources and delete it. And that is it. That is how we would get started with Pinecone.